has anyone seen my passport? <laughs> <laughs> Shambles. Shambles of a man. <laughs> Mr. Jason Cundy lost his passport, so we are going to do a special night. We want to hear your nightmare travel moments. Following your team, your nation, missing planes, getting stuck. What did you get up to while you were stuck abroad? Stranded abroad like Jason Cundy. 3 717 Spurs fans as well. We're going to discuss Richarlison. Looks like that deal is looking to be done. That's a huge signing for the football club. But where does that leave Everton? Get involved. 03-717-22-33-34. Here he is. Hello, mate. Here he is. Straight from Gatwick Airport. How you doing? Okay. I am... Have you missed me? No. <laughs> absolutely not. It's been brilliant without you. I had a great show. Oh, Peace dear. and quiet. No bouncing around. Oh, dear. Mate, what on earth have you been up to? You've been an absolute joke. You're a disgrace. Honestly. I, I, I've got, I don't know really what to say to you other than the fact that I've been an absolute numbskull. Um... Don't lose your passport, gang. It's a it's a stinker, honestly. I mean, talk, talk, it's an absolute stink, stinker. Talk me through it because you went away, you had a break, <clears> which <throat> you're all entitled to. End of the season. Yep. Talk me through the fiasco and where it started. Right. Okay. So it started at City Airport uh, last Wednesday. Last Wednesday night, yep. right, after the show, mate, after the show, went straight to City Airport, got a hotel, and uh, me and nine mates were flying out to Ibiza. We hire a boat every two or three years. We do it. Get a boat. Spend three days on a boat, it's brilliant. Go to beach clubs, go out in the night. It's just a brilliant way to go and see Ibiza, right? Yeah. Brilliant way. So everything's fine. We had a couple of beers at the, at the airport, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it was silly o'clock, so we, you know, we we got to the airport about quarter past five. So in the morning, the, the, quarter past five in the morning. So the bars are, it, it doesn't shut. Yeah. The, the airports don't shut that sort of time. They, no. So that time, lots of flights are coming and going. So went in. Um, had a couple of drinks, um, sat, you know, sent some time with some mates, had a bite to eat, a little bit, a little bit of brekkie. Yeah, yeah. Get yourself on the plane. Some more beers. Some more beers. Get yourself on the plane, have a little snooze, and you land in Ibiza. I mean, you know, there you go, everything's fine. Get to Ibiza Airport. All my mates are walking through. Get to passport, and I go, I reach in my pocket and go, oh, this is, oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> so, I've lost my phone. And my passport. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I, haven't, I haven't got either on me. But what I do, it, what I do, I stick it in the pouch in front. So I'm like, I'm sitting there. So I walked up the front. My mates are obviously a bit concerned. I said, look, I went up to the guy. The guy who spoke his English wasn't bad. I said, look, I've been an idiot. I've left my passport on the plane. Right? Why have you not put it in your bag, by the way? What are you doing? No one puts yeah. it in the front compartment. You I, put a drink in there. You mate, put a snack in there. You don't put your phone and your passport in there. I do. That's what I do. And normally I go, I, I dive straight. I don't, I don't know it on the way. I don't know the way home here today. So it's, yeah, I do it. Well, you, you've not learned your lesson. No, no, but I don't know. So I always do it, right? So you put it in there. When you, I don't, look, I don't know why I didn't pick it up, mate. I don't know why. I've got no idea. I can't, I can't give, I can't begin to give you a I reason. I can think ten Peronis. Why you there, didn't? there was a few of those that were sunk. But anyway, so when but I'm thinking that it's going to be there, I and mean, there was there was a part of me that was obviously very concerned. But I think it's going to be there. That's what that's what I do. So it comes back about an hour later, sitting there, an hour later on my own in passport control, starting to really think about what I've done. Right, all my mates have gone through. There's a sheet. There's like a glass partition. They're all looking at me, taking photos of me, banging on the glass. Oh no! Like pointing, you know. <laughs> so, I, I, I've, then, I've then the, the guys come back. And he's and he's got a phone in his hand. I can see he's got a phone. I'm like, it's, it's brilliant. Got a phone. No passport. I've look. I think I'm pretty sure, as sure as I can be, the passport would have been there in that pouch. Yeah. But so you got and your I, phone back. I got my phone back, which, which is which is good news, right? Which is brilliant. Not news. really news. No, it's not. I mean, it's not the no, best news. It's not the best news, but the passport was a big. Was a, now I'm thinking, oh, I'm in big trouble here. Yeah. I'm in a mile of trouble. They're going to kick me out. They're going to let me go through. So they, you know, they just had to just wave me through. Just go and see the police when you want to come home. I'm like, what? Really? Okay, bang. So I went through. All my mates, they're all they're all waiting for me. Got jumped in a cab, jumped in cabs. And, got, so, and I didn't think about it. I just thought, I'm not going to ruin me on it. I'm not going to think about it until the day before I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> but 
that again is another mistake, another gang. Big mistake. It's a mistake, gang. Make sure you do it on the first day. Your passport's not there, right? Because the the, the, um, <laughs> the British consulate in Ibiza is shut Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh wow! That's what that, that it was shut. So I, I sent this email off. I sent it off on the Saturday. Turned up at the airport with when, when on the flight I was trying to get home, and. It was just a pure guess, just hopefully saying that would I be able to just get on the plane? Basically, they just laughed at me, you know. No, yeah, no chance. So I'm now. My mates have gone through. Mates have gone up the escalators to to uh, to, to go through to departures. Yeah. And I'm now sat there, and this is where it hit me. This is where I, I felt devastated. I, I, if I could, if I could have sobbed right there, <laughs> <laughs> lack of sleep. Yeah. My mates have gone. I'm in Ibiza. I'm, I'm I'm stranded. Yeah. I've got no no fixed abode, no hotel, no passport, no, no passport. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting in the and I sat in the bar and hotel. I had two beers. I'm just sitting thinking, right, I've got to get out of this mess somehow. How am I going to get out of this? I've got I've yeah. got to deal with this. Who'd you call? So I called you, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ibiza over here to the rescue. I called you. Um, so luckily, one of my one of my my best mate knows. One of your best mates, right? Yeah. So we, we met him out there the night, the, the night literally the night before. Yeah. It was, Ryan Johnson. Ryan, the night Ryan, brilliant yeah. boy, lovely kid. And so my mate, my, so I phoned you. Said, look, you have got to get me in a hotel. Yeah. Right? You, who's your mate? You know out there? Yeah. Goldie, Tony Truman. Tony, they know, sorted you out. They sorted me out. Got me in the hotel. They, your, your mates were all staying there as well. So I've had a couple of beers. I'm sitting there and I've got, got to pick yourself up, Jace. Next thing, my mates message me saying they're going out to a, to a beach club today. Do you want to go? <laughs> well, this, Still just, no passport. <laughs> Do I have to? I have to say that softened the blow a lot, yeah. right? I'm yeah. now starting to think oh, maybe there is maybe there is a bit of an upside to this. <laughs> Next thing, I'm at Blue Marlin. An hour later, my mates haven't probably left the airport. I'm at Blue Marlin yeah. with your mate. <laughs> I've been Blue Mar- So I, I turned what was a pretty desperate bad situation into a positive, yeah. and I, you know, I had a great like, last couple of days. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> I see. And a great last... kept FaceTiming me, my mate. A, with yes, you. I was. That's right. A great, 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 a great couple of times, days, and I mean, I'm, I'm tired, mate. I'm tired, but I pulled through. I've got the, uh, the ability to to drag myself through. Yeah, and well, come... you look, you're looking good, Nick. I mean, you don't well, look like you've been away. Don't that, don't let that fool you. Yeah. By the way, I'm, I'm absolutely shattered. So you managed but... to get your passport. <clears throat> no, I got, <clears throat> I got an emergency What's this? one. What is that? It's, uh, if you watch it on on, uh, on Facebook or on uh, YouTube, Facebook. Now, yeah, you can watch it out on YouTube. You watch that now, right? There it is. That that there is an emergency passport. It allows you to get back into the country. So when I went, it I went, looks like something you'd get in an arcade. It does doesn't? I mean, it real, does the, it? Yeah. Mate, what me, is that? Mate, trust me, this was this was my look life. at the picture. So my mate had to take a photograph of me. <laughs> I look absolutely. It was after a big night out. <laughs> <laughs> so so I went to go and collect that this morning. Right, I had to go to the British consulate this morning in Ibiza. Go and pick it up. They open at ten o'clock. I was there at five past ten. Yeah. Right. First in. Yeah. And there's a there's straight a, from the club. Straight. Straight. No. no. <laughs> I was out. With, I was out with Dean Gaffney last night. Oh god. He, he bumped into him. So anyway, we celeb hunting in our no, Oh dear. But so anyway, so there's a list of names that's got like a board. As I walked in, the security guard said, "Put your name down. Sign that. Put your name down. Right. And the reason you're here. And there must have been about." 15 to 20 names above above what I wrote, right? All on different dates. Yeah. Every single one lost passport. Stolen passport. Lost passport. Lost passport. Every one of them. And then she picked up a batch of the girl, said, what's your name? I gave her my name. She had a list. She, had a, she maybe had about seven or eight that were ready to be picked up probably to that, that today. Day. Yeah. Seven or eight. All, all, you know, all lost passports. So I'm not the only numpty. There's plenty out there. And there's plenty of people listening to this that would have been a similar situation yeah. abroad. Yeah, and you got back straight on the Gatwick Express. Straight, straight, the Gatwick, in. straight to London Bridge, and here I am, had a bite to eat, done, you know, done, done what we need to do, had a meeting, sort myself out. So I'm, I'm you know, the, the horror stories you're hearing about getting back into London, Yeah, there, there has been some horror stories, right, about I mean, people trying to get back in. I'm, I'm worried that my flight's going to be delayed, I'm not going to be able to get back. But, um, but here I am. So there's a, you know... Do you, have, have you have you Don't, been have you been following any football? Do you know what's going on in the world? I've, do you know what I've been keeping my tab on? No, no, you, <laughs> <laughs> you no, haven't got no, a clue what's I, going on. All I know is Lukaku's gone. Right? Yeah, that's that's that's, that's done. Confirmed. Rafinha, Chelsea are interested in, and Richarlison looks like he's going to go to Spurs. Yeah, <laughs> is that is that is that is that, is that, is that, is that enough? Is that enough? 
That's your knowledge. I mean, unbelievable. I, I want to hear people's stories tonight. We're throwing it out there. Have you followed your team around the country, abroad? Have you got stuck abroad? We want to hear your stories. 03 717 double two double three double four i've got a few stories for you as well so get involved we want to hear them it's going to be an epic night